So it's gone now. This is a video of the resonator water capacitor uh, based on a patent of Stan Myers, patent number 4798661. The idea is to modulate uh, DC current. Um, I'm using a small uh, device here that I built. It's just a simple NPN transistor, power transistor, uh, driven by a pulse generator. Um, I find that at di different frequencies and pulse widths, uh, current draw seems to be uh, different. Uh, here's my blocking diode, uh, a coil that I wound off uh, half of a toroidal transformer, that's all I could find at the time. Uh, this patent uses uh, four st uh, cells. Uh, he refers to them as plate exciters, but there's also plate exciters here. And what the plate exciter does is it simply, you can adjust the distance of these plates to bring the cell into excitation. I'm not using it here for this demonstration. Um, with this particular uh, drawing, I have this AC uh, powered uh, board that uses an SCR with a, a, a full wave bridge, uh, the blocking diode over here. Um, it's driven by uh, an infrared LED and a phototransistor fine adjustment, coarse adjustment. I'm not using that today. I'm using uh, the uh, rotary voltage. Uh, it's just an alternator driven by my current supply, my power supply, and it drives the free resonator. Um, I'm getting some pretty good output today. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on and demonstrate the uh, flow of gases. There's my scope, and as you can see, I'm creating a pretty good amount of hydrogen. I'm using very little power. Uh, my uh, meter's down. So I'm getting that repaired. I'm going to be measuring current, but I don't. I think it's only probably an amp, maybe an amp and a half. I'm getting. Uh, I use a a wire uh, uh, gas gauge. So. Basically, that's it. I'm going to go on to the other experiments. Um, but at different frequencies and different pulse widths, this will uh, put out a good amount of hydrogen. Be looking for the next video. Thanks.